Hello, welcome to the Tech Leads. If you think you're ready to cut the cord, one of your top options may be Hulu with the live TV. And I'm gonna go over a long-term review of this service. I've had it for a while now, and I'm gonna tell you the things I really like about it, some things that they can improve on. So with Hulu Plus Live TV, it's more than just live TV. You can watch all your favorite live shows, news, entertainment, and more. Unlimited access to the whole Hulu streaming library. And it starts at $44.99 a month. They have 60 plus top channels. And the thing is, when you look for a streaming service, you want to start with the price, how much you want to spend, and then you want to see what are your must have, must have in quotes, top channels that you need or really, really want. So if they have those channels, then you should go from there. And you can record live TV with 50 hours of storage. We'll talk more about that a little later. You can stream on two devices with the basic, and then they have different plans where you can add on. No hidden fees, no installation appointments. You guys know how that goes. So I like to start with pricing. $44.99 a month. This is everything you get for that. The streaming library has minimal commercials. There are some, but it's not too bad. If you can live with that, then you're good or you can upgrade. Here are some of the add-ons. You can get unlimited screens and of course the premium channel is there. Um, they have an entertainment add-on. For $7.99 a month, you can get these additional channels. The wonderful thing about getting HBO through Hulu is not only do you have it on Hulu app, you also get it. You get access to the HBO Now app so that's pretty handy as well so hbo is fifteen dollars cinemax is ten dollars showtime 11 stars 8.99 so next thing is let's look at the channels offered now you have to go through it it has a lot of channels i like how they have lots of locals and i have i have access to my fox and cbs and things like that and then you see you have your espn's your disney and that's truly up to you if these are all channels that you're interested in. Here's a visual of the supported devices. So lots of options with Hulu TV and I really like how it works straight on my LG TV and lots of services don't actually work on that. Jumping into the Hulu app on the Fire TV, it's a little different from the Roku and a little different from the LG. So just uh, minor differences here and there, but the way to sum up this system and this interface is menus on top of menus. Now it's a lot going on and I really don't like this initial screen. Um, DirecTV now and Sling has a more intuitive setup in my opinion, but just looking at what it offers, here's the home and home. They start off with what Hulu recommends for you, right? They'll go through all these shows. You may navigate differently than I do, but I like to go straight to a guide and to get to that guide, here's live now, right? But they still is limited on the selection. They try to use algorithms to figure out what you like watching. But if you go here to live TV is where I usually go. And there it is. And then I, if I select down, it defaults to recent channels, right? I don't want that. I have to go back up. I have to go back up and over to all channels and then it starts at the top and I have to scroll all the way down. It is a little annoying, but this is what the guy looks like on the Roku. Actually, you can have the programming on transparently in the background, but on my LG and on my fire TV, this is what the guy looks like. And the guide shows you only what's coming up next. There's not six hours of advanced preview. You only see the programming coming on next. They do show you how much time is left in each program, which I do like, but I don't like every time starting from the top and navigating my way down. So if I go back, they do break it down from all channels. Now this is still under live. You can go to news, sports, kids, and movies. And they do include any of your premium uh, channels that you've added. So if I go back, see, look at that menu. I'm back again and it's a little, you know, I've had this service for a while now and it's still, it's still 
having a service for a while now, it still is a little unintuitive. Now, if you go to my stuff, TV shows, movies that I've watched, sports. Now, here's why I don't have any sports teams, because if you select a sports team as one of your favorite teams, they will record every single game. And I don't know why. And that's been all over the forums as well. There was not an option to select which games to record, which was not to record. So I left my teams blank. Managing DVR, it's nowhere near how a DVR would be on your standard cable or satellite service. It's doable, like, um, but it is confusing sometimes. You may think you're recording a show and you look back and it doesn't say it anywhere until after the show is recorded. And sometimes you don't think you're recording it until afterwards. It is not the best experience. I'm not big on DVR and my wife uses it more than I do, but um, it's not the best. And another area besides live TV, I go into the browse section. Now you can browse by network, browse by TV show, movies, Hulu originals, kids, sports, genre, and they added this LGBTQ plus pride. So they do update it here and there. Now let's say you're looking for a particular show. You guys know how that works. Let's go to networks and then you can see what's on live. You can see what you could go by each channel. You can go by the sports being on right now and also on demand only, or if you want to go through A through Z, that option is there as well. Let's say you want to watch a movie. Click on movies. This is what I really like. You can see what movies are on right now. You know, you can see what movies are coming on, but then I like to just go to the categories, rom-coms. I might want to watch a 90s movie. I might want to watch, see what's on HBO. Right, you have all these options and I think the library is so vast, makes it worth the price. I'm going to click on one. Now it all depends on how fast your internet is, how powerful it is, but I'm going to click on something just so you can see how fast it loads. There we go, selected a show and there it is. A little bit of loading, very fast in my opinion. I could wait a couple of moments and there it is and there it is. So you can add this to my stuff. You can manage. If you go to manage, you can say stop suggesting things like this, remove from watch history. There's lots of options. And Hulu, of course, it includes all of their original content, all the TV shows. I think this is a great bang for your buck. And I've never had Hulu before before the live TV plus came out. So I wasn't familiar with the navigation and setup, but I think to make this service complete or even better, I think they just need to make this more intuitive. And of course you can go up and you can just search. And then of course you go here, they have profiles, they have settings, voice control, account information, about let's just hop into settings so you can see what's offered there subtitles the captions autoplay stop live tv when inactive so when it <laughs> menus on top of menus on top of menus and it's a great it's a great service it's still one of my favorites um there have been some updates to direct tv and the sling and i'm gonna check those out again and see which one's best for me but if you can find all the right channels if you can find everything you need in a service at the right price, then I would definitely go for it. Please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Every single day.